Hello and welcome to Trans TV News Summary. I am Ibrahim Youssef. Now the news in brief. The People's Democratic Party in Taraba State has said the All Progressive Congress has no validly nominated candidate for the Saturday governorship election in the state because of the judgment of the Supreme Court delivered on February 1st this year. According to the PDP, the implication of the Supreme Court judgment is that INEC is effectively restrained from accepting or recognizing any governorship candidate from the APC for the election. Operatives of the Department of State Services have arrested two of the supporters of the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, Rabi Okonkosu, for allegedly inciting violence in Kano State. DSS spokesman Peter Afunaya said the duo were tracked down after the suspects had separately recorded inciting messages which they shared through various social media channels. And the death toll from tropical cyclone Freddy has passed 300 as the body count continues to rise, with authorities in Mozambique and Malawi taking several days to assess the extent of the damage and loss of life. Malawian President Lazarus Chekwera has called for 14 days of mourning for the victims and the government has pledged $1.5 million in assistance as more than 20,000 households have been displaced by the mudslides and flooding. And finally, in sports, Gianni Infantino has been re-elected as president of FIFA until 2027 after standing unopposed at the Congress of World Football's governing body on Thursday. 52-year-old Swiss lawyer who succeeded the disgraced Sepp Blatter in 2016 was waived in for a third term by acclamation, just as he was four years ago, by delegates from the 211 member federations. And that wraps it up on Trust TV News Summary for this hour. For more news, you can subscribe and follow us across all our social media platforms. I am Ibrahim Yusuf. Thanks for watching.